Yeah, with the laws changing, that lawsuit will be thrown out. The company who filed it, Omega Flex, telling us in part today, after years of combating misinformation propagated largely by competitors who were looking to establish their monopolies, we're pleased that the truth has finally won out. They maintain their product is safe, but local leaders say they're frustrated with how everything turned out. If you're building a home or buying a home, I think it's a fair question to ask. What's in your walls? Your attic? Becky teal has been asking these questions for nearly seven years. To raise the standard of safety. Since her son Brennan was killed in a fire that the fire marshals say was caused by a lightning strike and a type of gas tubing called CSST. They aren't as safe as we want them to be. Leading the city of Lubbock to ask questions too. They investigated the issue thoroughly. Steve O'Neill was the chief building official when council ultimately banned types of the tubing. <laughs> until this legislative session when the governor signed House Bill 2439 into law. That's a big loss. It really is. It says city governments can't do what Lubbock did, ban a building material that meets national safety codes. We now will not have the ability in many ways to come back in and customize our codes for our own unique hazards. Steve O'Neill and Becky spoke out against it, arguing Lubbock homeowners are more at risk for a dangerous lightning strike and fire than other Texans. And on the other side, organizations saying they promote the use of materials that meet those national standards to ensure vendors can't dictate the materials used across the state. And even our Lubbock lawmakers voting yes. We reached out to them. <laughs> one passed on an interview and one never returned our calls. For whatever reason, the legislature feels like it's safe and you know, they, they trump us. The mayor says it's frustrating, but their hands are tied, leaving homeowners to do their own homework. Ask your contractor what they're using. They're going to worry about their fit and finish. The homeowner has a right to assume that those types of things are safe, and they will never think about it. Brennan's mom, Becky, says she's deeply thankful for the city of Lubbock's commitment to safety, but that the, quote, commerce of big business was heard above the average resident. She agrees with the mayor that knowledge about the issue will protect homeowners. We have her full statement up on our website right now. The KMAC Weather Lab First Forecast is sponsored by First Bank and Trust. Avery, thank you so much. The days of busyness at the Weather Lab is over for Ron, now. Right. Ron made the bold call of 0% chance of rain yes, now. Yes, he did. Yeah. Unless, of course, he changes his mind. So let's look.